Hello everyone, this is Jack and this is day 6 of my game dev net uh, week of awesome 2 game. Uh, today I'm going to show you, well I've done the main menu and I've added in this room, um, there's nothing in there at the moment but the room's there, it's laid out and stuff. Um, I need to do these rooms and there's another room, there's two more rooms I need to add as well. Uh, there's like a uh, sleeping quarters area and there's a radio radio room it's like for radio contact and stuff so that's what I'll be going in tomorrow or tonight whatever I'm doing the video earlier than usual so I can relax a little bit and then plow on through tomorrow so yes let's get the game running so change the layout a little bit so we have sideways buttons now and you can see the background uh, we have a submarine obviously and foreground and background uh, underwater mines just just because they look cool and yeah so let's go into the game so oh yeah one thing you see I've added is these uh, these are barrels so when you lose your torch you can get another one just by clicking one of them. Uh, oh yeah, and death. You can die now. So you, if you drown, you go, you die, and you lose your torch, and you wake up in the med bay. He's the same as ever, and you get. You can click this, <laughs> so you can do that. Uh, I think we've seen this. I think I've showed you this quest before, haven't I? So you have to get. Uh, energy drink. Oh yeah, we're gonna put more art in here. There's gonna be like a big oven and stuff, stuff like that. There's lots of little bits of art in the game that can be filled out. So try and do that. Oh yeah, and sound effects and music that all needs to go in. <coughs> I'm thinking of just using classical music. Maybe slow down a little bit. I don't know. Originally it was meant to be a horror game, so I had I had an idea of what I wanted, but no, it sort of changed a little bit. <laughs> okay, dokie. So this leads on to the next mission, which is in the reactor room. I guess I should open this then. Check it's all right and everything. Here it goes. Ah, what was that? I feel woozy and so tired. And he collapses and dies. And he wakes up again. And we can talk to the doctor. Ha, you finally woke. Or you... Blah, ha, you woke up finally. <laughs> Can't even read my own dialogue. How's your head feeling? Pretty bad, I bet. You got totally irradiated. Now it's possible you'll experience side effects. Nausea, muscle aches, hallucinations, agonizing death. So if, just let me know if any of that happens, okay? Ah, how many mines do we have to hit? It's okay, the lights will return to normal in a sec. Don't go panic on me. Ah, don't go panicking on me, eh? Play with me! Oh my god! You're a teddy bear! No, not the syringe! I'm going to inject you with happiness! Die! So <laughs> that's pretty much how uh, we're putting toys into the game. So yeah, you you can run for him. Get your torch, and you go round. Choo choo! What the? I guess I must. It must be the radiation effect. I'm seeing things, or it's mutated everyone into toys. Oh no! Choo choo doom! And then I'm going to change this guy because he's crap when he goes up slopes. But basically, when you hit these things, you'll you'll get killed and either go back to the med bay or to another place. So it will make more sense when you get to the end of the game. But I haven't got that far yet. I'm just happy I got that all scripted, and that's the that's the hardest bit there was these two because they're sort of like the prelude to 
they they're introducing the fact that everyone's toys, and I didn't want to leave the player too confused, so I thought I'd build a little story around that. And the rest of it will just be sort of like random toys you have to dodge and avoid while you're trying to complete the rest of the missions. The rest of the missions will pretty much be like uh, the main guy was here, where you just pick something up for him, go to him, and do stuff like that. So yeah, oh yeah, and the other room I added uh, was the torpedo loading hatch, which is this room. So I just used lots of those emergency lights to make it look like something is meant to come down here that's uh, dangerous or something. So, and that'll be the the door to the ICBM storage. So that'll be the nukes. Um, I'll probably put a bigger door there just for show, but... So yeah, I tried to make each level sort of feel like it's distinctive and has some sort of uh, uniqueness, but, you know, without being fiddly. I don't want it to primarily be a platform, I want it to be just, you know, you just go along and experience it. Ah, get away. So every room I've tried to make feel like it has a big set piece in it. Apart from these ones, like some of the corridors, they're just sort of joining those rooms up, but there will be tactic thing, tactics involved here and stuff. So yeah, just, just trying to make the rooms feel different and big. It already takes me quite a while to test now because I've got to travel everywhere. Even though I can save and always um, save and load, but ah, I died again. So I need gone back to bloody being a doctor again, but I'll fix that. He'll always be a bear, I think. Afterwards, he just won't talk to you, or he'll say something different next time. And yeah, there's more toys than these two. We've got like three others. But they're primarily just there to be avoided and part of the story. So, yeah. Oops. That's that. Uh, I don't know if I'll do a dev video tomorrow. I might just finish the game, upload it, and do a trailer instead. Uh, maybe I'll do a. Um, a la. I don't know, making of sort of thing. <laughs> I don't know, some sort of afterthought video. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this video and goodbye.